welcome to the project of GSM web based substation monitoring and controlling system so in this project we are interfacing the input SCADA board nothing but supervised control data acquisition board voltage and current uh, potentiometers to change the voltage and current and LM35 is a temperature sensor and uh, optocoupler we are using to count the frequency so these are monitoring at the substation of the feeder or transformers voltage current temperature and the frequency and uh, based on this input signals given to the peak microcontroller we are going to uh, isolate the transformer through this relay in real time and the respective data will be monitoring on the LCD if is there any abnormal conditions the visual alert will be displayed on the LCD and the relay will be switched on and the buzzer will be on will give the audible alert and the GSM modem will send the message to the stored number and uh, here coming to this whole circuitry so we are going to provide the 230 volts power supply to this transformer and after this we are going to get the 5 volts of uh, sorry 12 volts of AC signal AC voltage and uh, after this bridge rectifier this is a DB107 and after this bridge rectifier we are going to get the 12 volts pulsating DC and uh, we are using the capacitor to provide the pure DC of 12 volts and we are using 7805 regulator after this we will get the 5 volts pure DC and the power LED indication on this board is a green LED and uh, this 5 volts will be given to the peak microcontroller motherboard come into this motherboard this on off switch is always on only and a capacitor in order to maintain the currents whenever the fluctuations occurred and uh, this is the reset switch and a 20 megahertz crystal oscillator and red LED is a power indication and a green LED is a programming indication it will indicate whenever the controller is running and for every message receiving from the GSM modem will be displayed the LED will be indicated and coming to this GSM modem we are using SIM 800A and we uh, before switching on this kit we need to insert a valid SIM card which has a SIM, uh, SMS balance into this SIM slots and uh, switch on the kit and uh, the GSM modem connected to the B0, B1 pin of the microcontroller and the LCD B2 to B7 and a buzzer C3 pin, LED C4 pin and a SCADA board respectively A0, A1, A2, A3 and A4 and relay C7 pin. So after uh, inserting the SIM card just switch on the gauge. Right and we need to hold this switch so till you can see that one green light is in, uh, fast blinking on the GSM modem so when it got the signal it blinks slow right now it got uh, slow down the blinking rate and then release this switch this is a very important step insert the sim card switch on the kit hold the uh, hold the reset switch till you get the green light blinking slow rate and then after you will get the welcome message as usually so you can see that now already there is no stored number in that to store the number into this we need to send a message like I'm going to send a help message so we press the last message and now after sending the message so on LCD it will display the message received received message and we'll get the reply Right. So send on or off to device control and get to get the parameters. So I want to get the parameters initially. Right. So we got the message of parameters, live readings from the SCADA system, that is the voltage, current, temperature and all. And coming to the abnormalities, we are going to increase. So right. Now let us see the we are going to increasing the temperature. So when we show the fire uh, temperature increasing, it will be monitoring on the LCD screen. And when the temperature increased, so it's in the message alert. So we'll get the message alert, high temperature alert. In order to change the voltage, anti-clockwise is increasing the voltage. So as you can see that so high voltage. So you can see the message like same manner current also current increased second